you know, he set an example for us. If we could all live our lives like Brother Al did, and then, and I say my mom and, and Dave's mom, they was three of the best people and I've ever met in my life. That could, you know, something bad could happen. And I know I get That's frustrated and angered sometimes. Al would just, you know, just, uh, just laugh or, you know, it'll be all right, brother. And, and, uh, you know, some people like that, you know, they, they give an example for us yeah, to, to yeah. live by. And if, if we can just, uh, when we get in trouble times, before you let words or thoughts of anger come out, just take a deep breath and think of Brother Al or some other person in your life like Al and, you know, and, and, and God will uh, take care of it. That's okay, he's, a, he's a living example. Yes, right. And I was uh, proud to have known Al. Took a few rides, had a few meals, had a few fish and trips together. <laughs> I hope to be with him again one day. same way. Amen. Hey, but we got God, brother. There's not a devil in hell who can touch you. Come on now. There's not a devil in hell. He's nice to but I 
I'm pastoring today. Glory to God. That devil, he ain't nothing but a war. Brother Charlie, you know that, and I know it. Brother Trent, you know it. Yes. But we got to get a little bit of the word in here today, folks. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. But I'm telling you, God is a living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's one thing about Brother Al. We went, to places, we went to places and we walked in places, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, we didn't know we were going to make it back out of our not, but we did. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It ain't who we are. That's right. It's who he is. That's right. Jesus and Paul Jesus. Yes. Amen. I believe in doing it right. That's right. I'm not perfect, folks, because I'm a pastor. A lot of people look at me hard. No, I live, I live, hey, I live, I got a flesh like this, like you guys. I'm on this pool, but I'm not 100%, you're not 100%. Right. But that's what, that's what he's for. He that's can take care of our problems. Amen. Hallelujah, but we don't get seen to be sinning. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. You know, when that, when that, when that, uh, when people preach, once saved and always saved, all they doing is sending your people back there through that door, That's right, right straight back there in the That's world right. of filthiness. Hallelujah. You know, we don't live in the Old Testament. We're living by the New Testament. Right. You know, the, the, the New Testament, over no year to come down and repent. Hey, this ain't the same God that we serve, folks. We serve the living God. Right. You know, once saved, we got to work to stay saved. That's right. right. Yeah. 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 Let's get, yeah. let's get this good stuff right here. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, when Brother Doug was saying, man, that noise would come down on me. I, I, I did. Lord, I don't know if I'm a bad sand seal. Amen. 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 We're going to get this thing rolling. Like I told up by Nashville, we ain't got them all. <laughs> this next brother, we're going to be calling on him a few minutes, Brother James. Lord, is good a blessing in singing and his ministry. Hallelujah, you know. That's what it's all about today. Yeah. It's coming together. Yes. You know, if you look at somebody and say, I don't like him, but I can be happy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Like him anyway. Like him anyway. Like him anyway. You know, back when I first got saved, Brother Joe, you know, when I made it, I got, you know, just knew in the Lord about four months, you know, maybe five. You know, I, I got beaten the Bible. I, was, I love legal read, read the Word, especially early in the morning. But I do, still on the road. Hallelujah. But anyway, uh, I made it called that scripture. Said, so love thy neighbor if you will yourself. Right. Man, I said, Lord, what did you say? <laughs> How in the world can I forgive that man on the way he did me? He said, He said, You will if you, if you serve me. Right. And boy, I'm telling you, as I kept in that word and kept going down through the years, glory to God, the love of God got in me. And I don't care what anybody would do to me now. I would have that same love, glory to God, that Jesus Christ got towards them. Hallelujah, regardless of how they treat me, I'm just going to keep loving them in that. Hallelujah. I took an oath to the Lord, I will serve him to the day he takes me home. I'm going to do it. Amen. The devil don't like me, but I don't like him neither. Hallelujah. He tried to bring me down, but he can't do it. Hallelujah. You got too much power for him, Brother Joe. Hallelujah. I got Jesus. He don't. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. I just love what the Lord has got me doing now. I just, I got some of the family here today. They know I'm really serious about it. I really, I really, I really love the Lord. Yeah. I was old others that fell down him for years and years. And been back, kind of been back on the Lord. I walked for a little while, but you know he, he, he never forgot about me. People forget you. Yeah. He won't. That's right. He said, I'll never leave you for safe place. Mm -hmm. He didn't know. Yeah. One day, he spoke to me. He said, you're going to finish what you started. What I asked start. I'm back on the, on the podium. Back on this podium. That man speak through me. I don't speak through him. He speaks through me. I mean, I speak what he gives me. You know, this is something I don't do. 
Don't have to. My tablet is right here. Yeah. You put the other thing right here. I don't need to write my message. I want to know how to write one and a half. Hallelujah. He gets the mail the thing right straight through his word. We had such a bad time here said morning. I'm saying we had just today we had time. But what we don't heard about Brother Al today, you know, sister, a patch out know he's gonna rejoice. He's rejoicing by lifting up his name. But we gotta get Jesus Christ involved too. That's right. It ain't all Brother Al. Go to God. This is but the main one here in this service today yeah. is the one called Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 And all this, all this we've been hearing today, and I, I always do this. If anybody in here today, I mean, come down to this service. Don't let it be by, all about Brother Al. Look where you at today. Yeah. Look, yeah. look where you at today. Are, are you able? Is it the Lord to come this afternoon? Will you be yeah. where Brother Jason or Brother Al's at? That's what we here today to look at. Hallelujah, glory to God. Amen. You know, we got to be just like Al, saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. Word. Hallelujah, praise ready. He was ready when the Lord called his name. Uh, praise the Lord. I got excited when I heard that it went on the Lord. I got excited because I knew where you were with the Lord. I miss him, Brother Joe. Yes. I better do because he's been, he been involved in the Richmond with me. West Virginia, Lord Song, Brother Charles, and our church is where we preach at. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we've been moving up around the mountain, different places. No, we didn't have no church here, but on Saturday night, we go somewhere else and preach. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, we've been having a good time in the Lord. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, if you like saving this service over today, if you feel like you need a, a hand from the Lord, you can more dead for you. Hallelujah. You're welcome, Campbell. All right, who's next? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I, I thank the world for the help. I'm going to tell you a little story. When I first met Brother Al, I quit church one time. This pastor promised to ordain me and name my wife to be pastor. He lied. He spoke to that church that day and said, I'm going to take off my tithes from the church and pay my bills. Tithes is the church's bill. That's yes. the church. My kids, I got mad. I got up. I walked out. My wife, she begged me to come back to church. I said, No, I ain't going back. I quit. I had enough lies. We passed it. One night, I was watching this program. It was bluegrass gospel singing. Man owned the private place of Harrisburg. He was singing a song. It was called Life Like a Mountain River. I cried and cried and cried. Jesus. I said, Lord, the next church I go to, they sing that song I put in my room set. Went Friday evening with Winchester, grocery shopping there in Winchester. Came back through. The Lord said, Stop at that church. I got right here to top the bridge. I told my wife, I got to turn around. I don't know why, but I got to turn around. Came back, got out of the car, walked in. Brother Al sitting about middle ways. We had benches, benches then. He's about middle ways. David's right here. David said, Can I help you, brother? I said, Yeah. I said, I need somebody to pray for. I asked him what the congregation was. Nothing that he told me. I said, I need somebody to pray for. Him. And he said, Come on, brother Al, let's pray for this brother. He didn't hesitate one bit. He had them fifth on. He jumped up and swung like that. He always carried that no door right here in that old pocket. <laughs> Uh, and I came to Dave Van Ham, somebody prayed for him. Jesus. And uh, I asked him, would you come outside and talk to my wife? He said, yeah. And they came out and talked to my wife. And they said, spend the night. Said, come on back in. He said, brother and sister, go to the service tonight. I said, well, Pastor, you might heard this a thousand times. I'll be back in the morning. But I got groceries. I got to take home. I kept my word out there for sense. I didn't have no idea when I got done singing that. <laughs> he, he said, he, he, when I got done singing, he said, this is my church, whether you know it or not. <laughs> and maybe since the Lord opened the door back up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I didn't know he was. See, that's how the Lord works. Yes. Him, him and Melissa been over to the same. So 
going to be saved years. Hallelujah. Time flies up when you have to talk to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Set on the thing to save you. Praise the Lord. For God is so good. I, I stay out of the way and let Him do the work. That way, if you get mad, if you get mad at Him, you ain't mad at Him. He's made. He's made. Praise the Lord. That's the best way to do it, see. Hallelujah. You get mad at the Lord. You don't get mad at me. Praise the Lord. All right, who then? Brother James, it's coming on over to you all. I remember when I first met him, he had such a laughter and a smile about him. And he was so loving and caring. And, um, one time, we went to him and asked him how to make something. And he told us how to make it. He loved the cook. And when we would come down here from Bible study, he'd be out there in the station wagon. And I'd say, well, there's Brother Al out there. He just took him.
click and this is number four.
before the Lord yes, with did. all of his heart. Yes, yes. You know, when I sing, I sing with all my heart. But my voice is gold. I can only do about two songs. I'm giving it all of God. That's it. 